The Hogsback ducting is a steel structure which, which is refractory lined. During the operation, it has gas flowing through the ducting, which contains chalk dust. This coats the refractory lining. So during maintenance, where we need to work in the flash dryer, which is at the bottom of the ducting, we need to protect people from potential material or coating falling that's been generated uh, throughout the year. The potential of something falling from 100 metres inside the duct would be catastrophic. This is where we came up with the airbag design. The air mats are fitted, one at the top of the duct. The second is fitted about 10 metres down from that. Then the third, which is three air mats all linked in together, is fitted approximately 10 metres above the flash dryer. As you can see behind me, we have one of the air mats. We're going to do a small demonstration of dropping a 25 kg cement bag. This has all been risk assessed and the environment has been controlled. The airbag is basically a mattress that is filled with low pressure air and it's got different compartments in it so when it comes under a load it depressurises and brings the load to a, an easy fall. To install the, the air mats we needed to construct a steel structure through the ducting. This was done externally but required us to to manufacture doors and manufacture access into the ducts at various locations throughout the downcomer's uh, height. We then lay the airbag uh, on top of the steel structure using rods and ropes so we don't have to gain access into the duct and then inflate them so it gave us a protection for people below. The key benefits to, to the airbags are the installation is relatively easy, it's safe, and the most important benefit of the airbags is that we keep people safe when working in the flash dryer.